This is now the deal of Allah? Thoughts and feelings? We're sitting down at the cafe, let's speak about deen. Let's speak about differences of opinion. Let's speak about mashayikh and ulama. Is this Islam? My brothers and sisters, it is very important to understand that when it comes to our deen, when it comes to our Islam, when it comes to our Sharia, Allah Azza wa Jal is not interested in your thoughts and your opinions and my thoughts and my opinion. Because this is not Islam. This is not submission. This deen is not open for negotiation. This deen is not open for your thoughts and my thoughts. Please, please stay with me. This deen, my brothers and sisters, is not, never has been, and be is the la- never will be a topic that is open for discussion. You and I as Muslims need to understand that number one, Allah doesn't need me. Number two, I wasn't forced to be Muslim. Islam is a decision that who made? I made. You made. Islam is a decision that I've made. That Allah Azza wa Jal, He's the King. He's the Creator. He's the All-Knowing, All-Seeing. And this Allah has sent me a Prophet to teach me and show me what He wants, when He wants it, how He wants it. Now me and you, you and I, we've accepted that look really at the end of the day, bro. And the simple things, I can't get it right. Simple, simple things, I can't get it right. I've accepted Allah as my creator. I know, I know that He's the creator of all things. Anything that comes from Allah now, anything that comes from Allah, is it good or bad? Does Allah know all things or not? Does Allah contradict Himself? My brothers? Does Allah make mistakes? The one that created the heavens and the earth and the stars and all that. Does this creator that created this majestic world, does he make mistakes? Does Allah get things wrong? Does Allah overlook things? Hashanillah. So now when Allah brings down a sharia, when Allah brings down a set of rules, do's and don'ts, halals and harams, rights and wrongs, limits and boundaries, does Allah make mistakes in them? When Allah sends this down to humanity, is this from His anger or from His love? Which one is it? It's from His wisdom, from His love. That Allah wants this believer to prosper in this world and in the hereafter. So Allah didn't leave the human being to wander around, suss things out, while I try. Allah from His Rahman, He sent down prophets and messengers and He sent them a book and guidance of do's and don'ts. And in this book, in this guidance of do's and don'ts, it's perfection. Not because I like it, not because everyone in the area says so. It's perfection because it came from the one that is perfect. Allah doesn't make mistakes. Allah doesn't make mistakes. Now where am I going with all this? My brothers and sisters, it is very important to understand that when it comes to our deen, when it comes to our Islam, when it comes to our Sharia, Allah Azza wa Jal is not interested in your thoughts and your opinions and my thoughts and my opinion. Because this is not Islam. This is not submission. As a Muslim, I submit completely and fully to Allah and His Prophet and His Deen. And my job and your job, after accepting Allah to be who He is, to submit and submit fully. This Deen is not open for negotiation. This Deen is not open for your thoughts and my thoughts. 
Please, please stay with me. This deen, my brothers and sisters, is not, never has been, and be the la- never will be a topic that is open for discussion. Because then this is not Islam. Call that anything else, but please, for the love of Allah, don't call it Islam because you're confusing yourself and you're confusing others. Islam has already been complete and perfected by Allah to His Prophet. Uh-huh. Today I have perfected and completed your deen. Allah says today, speaking to Rasulullah, this is on his hajj, his farewell. He, towards the end of his life, his prophethood is coming to an end. His life is coming to an end. 23 years of Quran coming down, revelations, ayat, ahadith, deen, 23 years. Jibreel coming up and down, up and down, battles, divorces, ins and outs, and learning and teaching for 23 years. Now he does hajj at the last year of his life, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Things are now coming to an end. They're coming to a closure. He feels it. They're feeling it. And even the ayat of Quran are also starting to seal it off now. Aliyoma, now Allah speaking to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and the believers who the muslims who's the muslim the one that submitted to who to allah and his prophet fully allah speaking to them today i have perfected your religion i have completed it i have bestowed my bounties and my blessings upon you and i have chosen islam as my way and my path Islam as my way and my path. If you don't like it, that's fine. Find something else. Find something else. Brother, how can you say that? Because this is Allah's deen. And there is no room in Allah's deen. Not for me or a million like me. Not only to come and play, but to even have an opinion. Allah is not interested in your opinion. This is my deen. This is my way. This is my path. This is my book. This is my prophet. You cannot, no matter how hard you try, no matter how hard you argue, you cannot enter Islam, so you cannot enter paradise except through these two. He sallallahu alayhi wasallam again when he was leaving, he looks at the companions and he says to them, I leave you with two things. Two things. Look, many things will come in your life. Speak to the Sahaba, say, imagine us. Many things will come. Trials and tribulations and fitan will come and differences of it. And, and, and confusion will definitely be there. But what's the solution? He says, I leave you with two things. So long as you hold on to these two. So long as you hold on. Not you discuss them. Not while you talk about them. Not while you know now, now today, Dean, Dean, forgive me, my brothers. Dean has become what? Even amongst religious brothers, Dean has become what? Tell me, tell me. It's become conversation. Now, brothers sitting on a dining table, family sitting at dinner, talking about Dean like it's what? Wallahi, speaking about deen like it's the footy. Now these guys, he'll sit and then he'll speak about deen like deen is based on how he feels. What are your thoughts? What do you think, bro? Nah, you know what? Wallahi, man, Allahu alam, but I don't think that's right. Habibi, when you say that, I don't think that's, you know, that, no, I don't think that's right. What's that based on? Please, please, for the love of Allah, Again, just between you and yourself, honestly, when you say to me, brother, I don't think that's right. What's that based on, bro? What is it? Thoughts? Feelings? What, what, what is, is, it, is it just a vibe? What is it?
Is this now the deal of Allah? Thoughts and feelings? We're sitting down at the cafe. Let's speak about deen. Let's speak about differences of opinion. Let's speak about mashayikh and ulama. Is this Islam? Thoughts and feelings?